In this video, we'll be talking about seven vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms, what happens if you don't get enough B12, and much more. Vitamin B12 is an essential vitamin needed for nerve function, DNA synthesis, and to make red blood cells. Although the vitamin is in many foods, vitamin B12 deficiency is still common. For example, more than 20% of people over the age of 60 are deficient in the vitamin. This is because the stomach acid that helps with B12 absorption lowers with age. We have to get vitamin B12 from foods or a supplement. For this reason, vegetarians and vegans tend to have low levels of B12 since they tend to not eat foods with high B12, like meat, fish, and eggs. Plants don't have enough B12, so fortified foods or a supplement become necessary for some people. Also, some medical conditions and medications may also prevent B12 absorption. We'll explain how to get enough B12 near the end of this video. The recommended daily intake of B12 for an adult is 2.4 micrograms. And the best way to find out if you are deficient is to get a vitamin B12 deficiency test. The first and most common vitamin B12 deficiency symptom is headaches. From kids to adults, the number one reported symptom of low B12 is headaches. One 2019 study found that about 50% of 140 people who were experiencing migraines had low levels of B12. So if you have frequent headaches, then it's possible you're deficient. The second sign of a vitamin B12 deficiency is tiredness. If you don't get enough B12, cells won't get enough oxygen. This is not a normal type of tired either. It's a consistent fatigue that may result in feeling weak. The third sign of a possible B12 deficiency is yellow or pale skin. A deficiency in B12 could lead to anemia, which is when your body doesn't produce enough healthy red blood cells. Anemia usually means you're not getting enough iron, also, B12 deficiency may lead to jaundice, which makes your skin and eyes yellow from high levels of bilirubin. The fourth symptom of low B12 is depression. This is because low levels of B12 can cause homocysteine, which can cause DNA damage, cell death, and oxidative stress. One study involving children and teens found that those with low B12 had depression. If you or someone you know experiences depression, it might be important to see if their B12 level is where it should be. It could even save their life. If you already have some of these signs, you might want to be tested for B12. A deficiency test is the most convenient and affordable way to determine whether you're deficient or not. If interested, you can click the link in the description below to find the B12 deficiency test that can be ordered online and done at home. You could order the test online without insurance and get results within a week. The fifth symptom is difficulty in concentrating. Since B12 affects the nervous system, someone with low levels of the vitamin will have a hard time remembering things. They may also get confused easily. Other neurological symptoms include blurred vision, difficulty in walking or speaking, and numbness or tingling on the feet and hands. You might feel like a metal needle is pricking your hands or feet. Also, these neurological issues might be permanent, so it's important to get your B12 level checked. A doctor finds you're deficient if your vitamin B12 level in your blood is less than 150 per milliliter. 
The sixth sign of a B12 deficiency is glossitis and stomatitis. Glossitis is a condition where your tongue is bright red, painful, and inflamed. Glossitis can have many causes, one of which is a B12 deficiency. Stomatitis means the mouth cavity is inflamed and lined with sores. Both glossitis and stomatitis are common in people experiencing anemia. But you don't have to have anemia to have these two conditions. There are many causes. Now you might be wondering how we absorb vitamin B12. There are two things that happen. A chemical in your stomach called hydrochloric acid separates B12 from the food. Then intrinsic factor, a protein in the stomach, combines with B12 and both are absorbed together. This is important to note for the final symptom. The seventh most common sign of low B12 is gastrointestinal issues. This includes constipation, gas, and diarrhea. Those who had surgery that removed part of the intestines or stomach may experience low B12 levels because the hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor may no longer be present or the cells that secrete these are far fewer in number. Sometimes this requires high doses of hydroxycobalamin injections or oral methylcobalamin supplements for the patient to get enough B12. Both are successful treatments. Now that you know seven of the common signs of a vitamin B12 deficiency, here is a list of those most at risk of low B12. People that don't eat B12 foods, which might include vegetarians and vegans. Eating fortified foods that contain B12 is one simple fix. Also, gastrointestinal issues might impact absorption of the vitamin. These include celiac disease and Crohn's disease. People 75 and older are also impacted by low B12. That's because they have a hard time absorbing B12. Some medications like metformin and birth control pills can block B12 absorption. People that drink alcohol heavily are also at risk of low B12. How to fix a vitamin B12 deficiency? A standard multivitamin gives you more than enough needed for B12. The daily recommended amount for B12 is 2.4 micrograms but many multivitamins have around 6 micrograms. So you're getting almost 3 times what you need from a good multivitamin. Foods high in vitamin B12 include chicken, red meat, eggs, and fish. For people that don't eat these foods, fortified foods like some breakfast cereals and breads can be helpful. Check the nutrition label to see how much vitamin B12 each food contains. Sometimes a single bowl of fortified cereal can give you all you need of vitamin B12 and many other vitamins. For those with extremely low levels of vitamin B12, daily high dose B12 pills or weekly shots of B12 might be needed and those treatments are done under a doctor's supervision. To be safe, you could always order a B12 deficiency test online or go see a doctor in person. A deficiency test is an easy way to find out if you truly are lacking a critical vitamin. If you're deficient, you could eat more B12 foods or take a multivitamin. See a doctor if you want more info, especially if the B12 level is extremely low. For most people, a B12 vitamin deficiency can be solved through diet. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos about improving your health. 
Thanks for watching.